Hey, check out shares of Amazon topping the tape today, adding another 1.2 percent. The stock has been on a tear recently, rising in the last five sessions. And since hitting a more than two-year low last Tuesday, it is up a whopping 18 percent. That is a gain of nearly $200 billion in market cap in just over a week. Tim, I got to go to you on this one. Well, they made a lot of investments during the pandemic, and this is a company that's made a lot of investments in their infrastructure and their ERP and logistics in the last 15 years, and they've been rewarded for it. I assume they're going to be rewarded for this. But when they gave guidance on that Q1 and they said 7% growth and the outlook wasn't so great, you know, for a growth company with a big multiple, we know what's happened. 2000 looks like a great level and a great floor for this stock. I'm not sure you're chasing it here. Um, even though I'm long Amazon and I've talked about it, I talked about it yesterday. And this move um, is heroic. And I think this is the kind of move you're getting from mega cap tech stocks. I think you're going to get other ones like this. I think you can own Amazon at these levels. You can be an investor. But I think traders probably want to lay back for their next opportunity. Steve? Yeah, I actually bought it on the dip. I bought it specifically for T Tim laid out a good picture of the fundamentals. I bought it just for the split. So I thought the stock came down from 2900 all the way down to, to almost $2,000. So I bought it off that, off that uh, sell-off. I'm going to ride it right into the split. Just think about 20 for one. All these retail investors, now I know you could own fractional shares, yada, 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 but all these retail investors and, 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 and the like are going to buy this thing after the split as well. So I'm going to actually stay along a little bit after the split. Does that still work? I mean, we, we've seen it um, when markets are directionally Shocking. going higher and, and now in a different environment. You know, do we say that that little trick sort of it doesn't work anymore, Karen? Maybe the retail investor is not necessarily there anymore to trade the options, be more involved in the stock. Right. Well, that wouldn't be surprising if some of the retail investors have left, though. But I think we'll get a good sense of it when we start, when it does, in fact, split and we see the option trading and we see if that that part of the story, which I kind of believe is true, that these smaller lots will allow for option traders and retail that never could have owned it before. So I think we'll see it here.